Tool containers are useful for isolating particular parts of the workflow, adding documentation, and for copying entire processes, particularly if they involve common data transformations. Copying processes allows you to use them in other workflows, such as for the same client across different years or across clients. Before getting into adding a tool container, I'm going to reduce the size of my results window. We're going to add all tools pertaining to step one to a tool container. We're going to click on our canvas just above the first input data tool and we'll hold down our mouse and drag our cursor across all of the tools in step one. Right click on the select tool or any other tool that you now have highlighted and select the option to add to new container. Name the container step one. Limit the data to firms in, and in my case, my broad industry group is SIC C. Let's take one more step to allow our workflow to run more efficiently. By the end of step one, we have limited our data to observations for a single broad industry group. In other words, our data set after step nine contains far fewer observations than the original data set. Instead of running your workflow, right click on the select tool and select the option from the quick menu to cache and run the workflow. This option allows you to store the data in the last part of step one, so that now each time we run the workflow, it will begin with the limited data set for just one industry, instead of rereading the entire file. If you find the need to go back and edit one of the earlier tools, you can always right click on the step to show the quick menu and select the option to clear cache. Great job! You have completed step one of the case. In the next step, you will learn how to clean your data by eliminating observations which are missing the key variables necessary for computing ITEP and GAP effective tax rates. Before eliminating observations, you will combine your accounting knowledge with data transformation skills to compute missing values using other financial statement data wherever possible.